Good afternoon. Thank you for being in this uh, breakout session this afternoon. I know it's right after your lunch and uh, almost over with TCF. I hope you're enjoying your event in TCF. Uh, this afternoon, I'm just going to briefly touch on uh, what future of banking means to us from cognizant perspective and how modern banks are using technologies to really accelerate their market change that's going on in the market as well as adapt to new changes in the market as well. Uh, we're going to also end with, at the end, we'll show some real live demo of actual work we did at one of the model bank that we actually helped accelerate some of the onboarding use cases to help you uh, really understand how we're using 10 minutes platforms to get, uh, help our clients gain a, a competitive edge. Let me just give you a little bit of who I am, uh, uh, introduce myself. My name is Matthew Lee, the global CTO and also the um, head of our platform business. Uh, in our group, we have what we call, we have a banking COE, we have a payment COEs, as well as we have a capital markets and risk and compliance. Within all that COEs, our largest group is a banking COE. In here in this room, we have a Hari who runs our banking COE, uh, who's been, we've been working with Temenos for about the last 14 years. In fact, we were the first uh, global system integration partner for Temenos and we continue to lead the integration as an integration partner with the headcount, but now you'll see at the end what we are doing to add more value to Temenos clients, uh, bringing new innovation, new capabilities around Temenos platforms. So I'm gonna to touch a little bit on that as well. So the, I'm sure you've seen these slides before in many different formats. Bank, banks are in the middle of a storm, but if you really look at the market right now, you could, always, you could say banks are always in the middle of a storm because either regulation, competitions, and the global, you've seen on newspapers in uh, America's region about all the regional banks meltdown, all the deposits going away. What's, what's happening is it really causing banks to, the costs are going up to acquire new customers. Everybody's going after these new account base, new account teams, and trying to increase the deposit to reduce their loan losses, and they want to make sure they have enough capital to cover their uh, banking business. <clears throat> so to acquire a competitive, uh, comp competitions out there, getting bigger and bigger, but smaller players are really struggling to get more deposits into their accounts. And also the, the margins are shrinking. Every transaction is getting smaller and smaller. And also the next-gen customer segments, you know, before the baby boomers, now the post-millennials, you have the Gen Zs, and you have a number of different segments that banks have to worry about. Within that, now banks are thinking about, okay, mass wealth, ultra wealth, how do you segment all these client bases, serve them a little bit better? And then the, you have other, uh, the, how do you service these clients in a more of a personalized manner? So for example, if you have a, a one client that may, they want to feel they're, they're special to their bank. So how do you provide that in a scale? That's been a very, very challenging, as well as now, if you look at all the banking partners, banks are out there, uh, the whole point of now is that they don't develop everything in-house. They actually work with many different partners to bring in more value so they could come up with a new solutions much faster and new products offerings much faster with their what the clients are asking for in the market. So the, uh, in that in light, I think what is happening is that banks really need to re rethink about how they operate and you know, what are the new IT models they need to think about. And I'm sure you've seen this model. I don't want to uh, belabor this point. It's about benefits of cloud. I think you had enough about benefits of cloud. It is obviously is a, uh, you could actually provide a modular services as well as a plug and play capabilities and also that what we are building in Cognizant is a open API based uh, plugins that allows all various different partners to plug into 10 minutes core banking environment much faster and much quicker. And what it allows us to do is, for example, clients before they actually roll out a new product, uh, you want to be able to test out the product. Maybe you need to test out with a small sample of your client to make sure it's something viable that your client base could really accept and use and really be delighted about the product and service you want to provide. But in the current structure, many of the clients are really tough, you know, difficulty, uh, difficulty and having challenges of really doing that kind of test case scenarios and experimenting. But this new world of cloud with the API-based open network with the ecosystems, we're seeing a lot more 
organizations that are testing and playing uh, with the different products to make sure it does have stickiness, it has a viability in, down the road. What it means is that we're not just talking about, you know, for in the future, it's not about just failing fast, but it's a failing small, so you could actually contain the investment money you spend and move forward with the other products very quick. As well as now, I just talked about you know, rapid provision and consumption, so how services are being provided, as well as on-demand uh, services. This is a benefit sort of cloud, obviously. You've seen this before, uh, where it's about you could scale up, scale down, and also you could add the extensibility much faster in a cloud environment versus monolithic cloud uh, infrastructure-based environment. So what in this technology changes and consumer-based technology changes, as well as the banking regulations, and really, banking, banks need to rewire their thinking. They need to start thinking about how do they change the way they approach banking world? How do they think about embracing cloud and embracing the modular, the concept of banking platform that allow you to be more flexible and also add more partners very quickly so you can service your clients much faster. So if you look at the Cognizant perspective, I think this is shared by... Uh, You've seen the slide from Temenos as well as other uh, partners out there. It's about how do you modularize? It's like building a, you know, for those of you who have kids, it's about Lego concept. You know, you, kids are great about building these Legos into building a big house with foundation and start building the house. It's a very similar concept to when you're looking at the modular uh, approach to the banking world. So think about the bottom part of the, uh, the framework. It's about, it's, think of it as a factory. These are the services, these are the ex services you want to be able to provide to your customers. Uh, with that, with the adapters, these are the adapters specific to certain industry APIs. For example, you have a gateway APIs and a number of different areas that are exposing these services uh, to make it a offering. So it's a combination of these core products with services comes into various different offerings within the model bank or SME banking or you know, buy now, pay later, different kind of concept that's in the market right now. And it's really that, that channel of that experience is when you have this core foundation plus the API layer that's exposing the services uh, coming up with a new product offerings. And now you're able to channel that into various different organs, whether it's a, whether it's a mobile phone, whether it's a, uh, you know, the SME. So it's a very different marketplace that you are able to adapt this is very, very quickly. So next thing I'm going to talk about is, uh, you know, I'm going to show you a little bit of live examples of what we did for one of the model bank. Uh, uh, you know, I, I do have to excuse ourselves uh, about this video. Uh, it's a demo video. You'll see something interesting because, you know, we did this about uh, 14 months ago. But you'll, I'll give you a little test what changed quite a bit. Uh, but if you look at the certain numbers have changed quite a bit due to inflation and all the interest rate that changes change in the market. But you'll notice uh, some of the changes. Uh, you know, you'll say, oh, that's a little old. But the concept is the same uh, before. So I'm going to show you the, I want to explain a little bit about what we did. Using that framework I just mentioned, this, this framework how we're able to deliver a new value for our new uh, digital banking client, how we're able to innovate and really help them differentiate in the market and deliver this extremely fast onboarding for our client. So in the market, if you, you look at the client onboarding, I know everybody's been hearing about client onboarding, client onboarding that's been going on for many, many years. Uh, you know, it's anywhere from two and a half minutes to maybe days to onboard clients based on your AML background checks as well as KYC and funding the account. But with these clients, we're able to uh, do the onboarding, including funding, funding the account in less than a minute. Uh, the, we'll show you, the, we'll demonstrate how we're able to do this and uh, show you a little bit about some of the, the technologies that we work with. And foundation we work with you. It's, this is based on Temenos, back-end core banking, and Infinity platform in the front end. So this is something, it's a live example of what we're able to do with our clients and how we're able to deliver this unique value for their client base. Uh, in fact, this, uh, you know, less than a minute to onboard clients is an industry-leading capability because the fastest one before this was about, it took about two and a half minutes because we know that because we actually clocked it 
clock the onboarding process to make sure we were leading that they could boast their claim uh, in the market saying we're doing the, we're doing, we could do this faster than anyone else. So using the backend terminals with the various different adapters, and if you look at the enablers, the, when, you're signing up, when you're signing up on an onboarding as a client, you go through AML checks, you go through various validation, they want to make sure you are who you are, right? You want to make sure that you go through all the process by working in this modular concept. You're able to add that the fintech partners as well as Plaid. I'm, sure, I'm not sure if you're aware of it. Plaid is the, the ones that you could transfer funds very quickly. So through this whole process, we could actually check on your background, check for the, the redness number that you mentioned. But this is, by the way, it's a very UK specific. I mean, this is US specific. But we have another use case for SME for UK as well, using this very similar model, very similar framework. So what that means is that with this modular approach, you're able to come up with a new solutions, new capabilities very fast. And this is why the digital banks are gaining attractions among various the new generation, new demographics, because they're not able to uh, onboard and transfer funds much faster based on their available interest rate. So, before the, you know, I talk further, I want to show you a little bit of video of the real live in action. But uh, keep in mind, this, this was made about 12 months ago, or actually the 14 months ago. So numbers might be a little bit different, but the concept is there. OK, can you play the video? We asked the next generation what they're looking for in a bank. They told us they want new and innovative offers, a digital high-touch experience, and a true partner that delivers more than just customer service. We built that for them. What you're about to see represents one of the many innovative digital solutions we have built for our banking clients. We're excited to show the functionality that powers the rewarding and seamless experience we created for their target customers. On first visit, they see our products displayed cleanly, showing reasons why customers choose Cognizant Digital Bank. Products like high-yield savings accounts and mortgages remain a primary driver for conversion, so they will be highly visible and feature the best rates in the industry. Speed to sign up is also a top priority. Our user-friendly platform lets customers apply for an account with just the last four digits of their social and phone number taking less than a minute to open and fund an account. <laughs> Research shows that our target demographic cares about the world and feels their brand should reflect their values. To that end, we're offering socio and ecological initiatives like paperless statements and nature restoration programs. Our global team combines digital strategy, deep industry knowledge, human sciences, user experience design, and technology expertise to help companies design, build, and scale digital business solutions. Cognizant's financial services clients are engaging us to design and develop their digital banks and digital banking solutions. The ever-changing landscape of financial services has created a new world of expectation. Our unique industry-based consultative approach helps clients envision, build, and run more innovative and efficient businesses. Thank you. So I'm, I'm not sure if you're paying attention about the rates. Uh, high yield savings, 1.5. Uh, I've just seen an uh, email from my bank. Now they raised it to 4.25. So it's because I think that every bank are not competing for high interest rate to capture more depositors. So you'll see, you'll see that happening quite a, quite a bit. But if you see the bank, I'm sure you guys all know banking industry, to change to 1.5 to 4.25 is a monumental task for them. Back end has to be very efficient. The cost has to go down to support their client base. It's a, it's a simple in the front end, but the back end is a very, very challenging for them to make, the, make these kind of changes. So keep that in mind that modular, organs, modular banking framework that allows you to change and concept much faster, deliver value much faster. We're able to do that what we did today on this uh, onboarding process because Cognizant ha you know, have developed and acquired a number of companies in the past. 
that brought many different IPs to the industry. For example, uh, Blue Bolt, uh, the innovation engine for Innovation Lab is a framework. So when, remember I told you about the playing the testing scenarios on different products? That now we're able to provide a, a process and framework that allows clients to innovate and test out different scenarios to make sure it's a viable product for them. And neural IT is about next generation of AI because as I mentioned before, about personalization, hyper-personalization. How do you make your clients feel that they are the most unique customer to them? How do you make sure you understand their personal empathy? How do you make sure that if they're stressed, you should understand? It's very easy when you're interacting with your client base, but how do you do that in the digital world? So this whole AI concept, machine learning, as well as the natural uh, uh, language, I think all this is a combination of our neural IT. Skygrade, this is where I think we've been, you've been hearing about transitioning from infra to cloud. We developed these uh, hyperscale agnostic tools that help you transform and move from infra base into uh, cloud, whether it's uh, Azure, whether it's AWS. We have these capabilities that can accelerate the migration. And then lastly, on cognizant COE, banking COE, what we have developed is many of the reusable frameworks and API factory where now we can plug and play many of the different fintech partners and we could come up with solutions like what we just mentioned much faster than ever before. So whether it's MVP1, you want to release a basic foundation. For example, what's the next product release? Because clients are expecting more and more. As you deliver value, they, get, they will want to see what's next for me. Do you understand what I do? They're going to want to see constant changes. This is what Cognizant is doing right now with those innovations. So just a little bit of a overview what Cognizant is at COE. So as I mentioned before, uh, we are the oldest uh, global system uh, integrator partner for Temenos. So we've been a partner since uh, 2009, uh, so 14 years long. Uh, is, we have many other COEs, as I mentioned before, pa banking, payments, uh, as well as capital markets and risk and compliance. But our COEs uh, right now in Temenos, we're approaching 600 uh, certified engineers and we expect to double that in two years. Uh, so we have actually very good training programs, we hire people, and also we have a the train, the, uh, train, training model, which is really an industry re leading model that really helps us to scale up our teams globally. Uh, we have teams across different regions. We have teams in ASEAN region, Europe and Americas, that many of our clients are global clients, so they expect us to deliver these value and platforms all over the world with terminals, so we have that footprint and we're able to deliver that much faster than any of the providers. Combined with our reusable framework, we feel that we are one of the better partners and also we want to work with you and with our clients to deliver this value and innovative solutions like what, I just, what you have seen that client onboarding. We have use cases around the SME banking for UK. Uh, we have a wealth advisor around the uh, Temenos backend, and we have a hybrid advisor. How do you increase the, the personalization among your high net worth individuals based on this module approach that I just mentioned before? So I know I, I, know I spoke uh, quite a bit, and also I know it's a, in the afternoon after lunch, I don't want to belabor and also talk so much about cloud. I'm sure if I hear, if I mention more cloud, I'm sure you guys will be ready to walk out this room, but I want to just keep this a uh, little bit more interactive and also uh, I want to hear your uh, questions and I have a uh, head of our COE, Hari, with me. So if you have any questions around Temenos, uh, the, our accelerators and reusable frameworks which you would develop that could be rolled out globally and I could confidently say that we could deliver um, the stand up a bank 30% faster uh, now than ever before because now we're able to bring our best practice from the past into delivering more value. And not just delivering platforms, but delivering innovative uh, platforms that help you differentiate your uh, 10 minutes platform from others uh, as well.